In this video, we're going to be breaking down another Haaland hat trick, Manchester's midfield meltdown, and apparently Sean's head accessories. I'm Carl. I'm Sean. What is that on your head? This is 48 hours. Oh. <laughs> first game, match week three, Arsenal versus Brighton. Okay, first up, this is Hinchelwood. And Sean, this is something you get taught day one of football when you are a child. Play to the whistle. What are you doing? What are you doing? Once Saka collects this ball, he is begging for the offside flag to go up. And it didn't. I got penalised a lot mm. for playing to the whistle after the whistle had gone. Oh, right. <laughs> I was putting in tackles after the whistle. The refs, refs, refs didn't like me. Because I was an asshole. Who's up next, Sean? Saliba. We can't sing the song because we'll get claimed. Copyright That's infringement. That's not even the song. No, it's a rarity for Saliba to be on this list. Mm -hmm. Last year, had three the whole season. Damn. That's pretty good. Match week three, he already got his first one. Gabriel had five. Yep. And... What did he do? Well, Saliba runs away from the ball. Yeah. And Gabriel can't catch up with Minter. He's just... He's coming alive, that boy. He's a polo from Manchester. <laughs> He's Minter. Come on. And Gabriel's never catching up with him. And it's weird that Saliba runs away because Saliba's in his path, but then like takes two steps towards the host area. Saliba, what are you doing? We done. You confused me. Maybe it was a play from the dark arts. You know, Arsenal dropping points. They don't need to be dropping points, man. Yeah, City are going to be and winning every. Yeah, hopefully they don't. Fourteen point season. Hopefully they don't top the league because otherwise I've got to lose all my hair. But uh, we move on. Brentford, Southampton. Sean, uh, I'm up first. See? Uh, this one's Harwood Bellis. Yeah, he just overthinks the clearance, Sean. He just turns around, just freezes a little bit, and Mbwemo just steals it off of him. He's just, he's caught in no man's land. Doesn't know what he's doing. Or what he's done. Now, I always get the fun names. Bednarek. Yep. What are you doing? What have you done? Southampton need to stop playing out from the back. Yeah. Okay. The commentator was having a right go <laughs> at Southampton for playing out the back. He was saying, like, sure, this is how you play football. But if this is how you play football, you're going to get relegated. And <laughs> my word, you are. Because what I'm seeing is I'm seeing a load of footballers that can't play out from the back, play out from the back. Yeah, it's like watching Harry Maguire try and do it. Like, it's genuinely a joke at this point, how Ben Narek tries to run out of his own defence, <laughs> runs into Brentford, and then two passes later and Boemo scores. Yeah, they're just trying too hard. What are they doing? Exactly, what have they done? We've just told you. Okay, up next, Sugawara. Yeah. He's just hugging Collins from behind and just lets him knock the ball on. I mean, this is an obvious one. What's he doing? What's he done? you got to jump. Get in front of him. Yeah, he has to be in front of him, like you just said. Me? What are you doing behind him? Now, this is a long awaited return. Go on. So what's he doing? What's he done? Blank player's name list at the yep. moment. Sittums is back. Oh, yes. Stuck in the mud syndrome. Yeah. And Matthias Jensen is back. But he just watches the ball drop over his head and then watches it get pinged out. He's turning. He's going, oh, the ball's there. The ball's there. And he watches it get planted yep. into, the back, into the back of the net by Sugawara. 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 Run the ads. Ah. Sugawara run the ads. Ipswich, Fulham. Ipswich, Fulham. Up next is up next is Ipswich Fulham and my first goal here. Uh, no fault. First one this week. Uh, Delap. Jeez. Whole just half field sprint. Smashes it in 25 yards. No fault here. This goes in against anybody. Yeah, this was Bravo, sir. unreal. I didn't know he had this kind of sauce. He's got the sauce. I was not familiar with your game. Now, Ipswich only concede when they want to. Yeah. Which is what I found out because they can defend. Yeah. They held Fulham out all game. Solid defending. And then decided... We're going to let this actually pretty bad cross that's going straight to one of our centre-backs just go through. It's like he was playing FIFA and the square button got held down too long. Mm. He just slid out Who the way did? of it. Greaves. What's he doing? What you done? I forgot your name. There you go. But he just slid. Missed the ball. Trail raised wide open. Tap in. Just stand still. Tap in. He didn't knock the ball away. It's embarrassing. Who's next then, John? Leicester versus Villa. It is Leicester versus Villa. First up, Jordan Ayew. What are you doing? What are you doing? Too slow to react to the tricky free kick. Doesn't get out to Rogers fast enough for me. That's it. That's the only real letdown. This little play. Too slow to react to the tricky feet. Too slow to react to the tricky feet. Too slow to react to the tricky feet. Too, too, too slow, slow to, to react to the tricky free kick. ADHD break over. That free kick was dirty though. Yeah. Can't believe Watkins didn't take. Onana scored again. Well done. Name's not Andre. Exactly. Who's up next, Sean? Ocoli. What's he done? I'll tell you what he's done. Now, this is basic defending again. Yep. Where Ocoli decides, instead of taking the step back with Duran as the these balls crossed in, yeah. he's just going to let him jump and then just put up, try and stiff arm him in midair. Yeah, just, what are you doing? One, if you make contact with him, penalty. Yep. Two, you've got nowhere near him. If your hand's out that hard and that far and it hits your hand, you're getting handball, mate. You are. And, you know, the rules here. You get the pen. Yeah, but he, get didn't, he didn't. So we didn't get the pen. We shouldn't bring that. We're not. Bugardi. Like the breezer. I was. Yeah, I wanted to put a joke in there. Okay. His name is Bugardi. 
made him look like an idiot. Feels racist. Yeah. Feels tired. All right. All right. Next goal. Last one in this game. Bagardi got absolutely spun up by Mavadidi. Da dee dee do do. It's hard not to do, man. <laughs> Gotta hold it in. Made him look like a right idiot, to be honest. And that wraps up this game. What's he doing? What's he done? What have they all done? Oh, God, he got breezed. Move on. I got it in the vid. Yeah. Everton Bournemouth. Everborn. Evermouth. Eve born. Eve born. Eve, ma Eve mouth. Up first is Senesi. Yeah. Thank next? you. Now he assists Keane with his schnoz. Yeah. We'll schnoz. His off, nose. Straight off his face. Oh, so poor unlucky. Guy. But you know, you give the assist, you get the fault. That's. Right. No, it's not. But, you know, he passed it straight to him with his face. That's unlucky. So, That's harsh to give. I'm not. I can't give it to no one, you know, unless they score a nice goal. This is a eight-yard tap-in from a 10 Why are you a peaky blinder? Because I am. All right. All right, a far more familiar name going up on the list here, Sean Zabiani. The centre-back partnership. Indeed. We got told off for hating on. Yeah. Apparently, they're so good. The ball's pinballing around the area, and he's just stepped into no man's land. Everything's happening around him, and he's just sort of sitting. He's got semi sitems. What's he doing? Nah, he's moving about, though. He's not stuck. He's moving about, though. Yeah, it's just. What's he done? There you go. An even more familiar name on this show. Yeah. Mikalenko. What are you doing? What are you done? Tell me. Complacency late on. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, this was 2 0 Everton. 86th minute. What happened? <laughs> but Mikalenko sleeping. And Semenyo, not a man you can sleep on. No. Doesn't matter what minute of the game. Doesn't matter. As soon as he senses a Z. This turnaround was silly. 2 0 down to 3 2 up. As soon as he senses the. Me, 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 me. Semenyo's there. Yeah. He's there. Scoring Ready to at punish. your back post. Ready to punish. Lewis Cook comes flying in salmon style for this one, Sean. This is Coleman. Yeah. Seamus Coleman. Yeah, he just jumps way too late to stop Lewis Cook. Like, it's just, you can, it's just one of them ones, man. It is. He's just reacted too late. It's too late in the game for him. He's just sleeping. And that's too all. Yeah. This is already a very good comeback. That's tense. But guess what? Guess what? Guess what? what? Guess what? Tell me what. Mikalenko. No, oh, on the, the double. double. On the double. Sinistera is wide open. Easily my favourite name in the Premier League at the moment. Lewis Sinis Sinistera. No, Sinistera. Yeah, it's just so slick. Sinistera is wide open. Wide open. Like, Jamie Vardy, match week one, <laughs> wide open. <laughs> yeah. Or Jao Pedro, match week two, wide open. We've got a wide open one every week. Exactly. Got Sinistera now, absolutely belting open. But you know that back post Semenyo scored it earlier? Yeah. That wasn't being marked by mm -hmm. one Mikalenko. <laughs> well, he's still on the edge of the box this time. And Sinistera, 94 minutes into the game. Mm. Where's he? Mikalenko just wanted to cost Everton the points. He, Add it in the bag. He is at that post <laughs> where Mikalenko should be. Yeah. And he's scoring goals. What's going on? What's he doing? What has he done? Moving on, Forest Wolves. NF Wolves. Forest Wolves. I always miss the L and put another O. Yeah, reason understood. Like He's got big, fat, chunky fingers. Hell yeah. Uh, first one, and it's mine. It's Belgard. I pull this through. I guess he's just marking the edge of the box and not any particular player because Wood just walketh straight past him and he just watched. He didn't move. He didn't chase him. Wood, all on his own, taps him. The zone he was marking was the zone no other players were in. The, the zone wasn't in the same postcode as where he should have been. Yeah. What's he playing at? Damn. Exactly. Yeah, but he went and made up for it, didn't he? And he did. Christ. Yep. No fault. Great goal. Commentators didn't do this justice at no, all. They were just like goal. This is the, one of the new commentators, and he's mm. got no passion for the game, clearly, because he was not listening or watching the game. I was grateful, because I don't want Forrest getting all the points. The noise it made when he kicked this ball. Yeah. Clap. Oh. Big clap. Sounded like the ball broke. West Ham City. And we're going to get into this now, so... As you saw at the beginning of the video, we're going to break these down because Haaland's come back and he's just breaking hearts this season. He's just decided he's now gone over, Sean, more than one goal per game in yeah. the Premier League. 70 goals, 69 games. That is insane. It's not that impressive. Giza has gone somewhere over the preseason and summoned some sort of football shaman. Yeah, and but now... you know, Carl, if Alan Shearer played in that City team, he'd be on 500 goals. Oh, no, he wouldn't. In one season. Alan no, Shearer no. would have had an asthma attack trying no, to keep no, up with Ruben would. Diaz. He's so good. No, that's ridiculous. He plays with Ruben Diaz. Why Who would does? He have an asthma... If Alan Shearer was in the City team. Alan he wouldn't Shearer be able to keep up with Ruben Diaz's work rate, let alone Haaland's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. grew up in the 80s. And? and? He probably had a beer for warm-up. Sounds good to me. <laughs> but, Paqueta, what is the point of just standing around... In the middle of the field. I know it's midfield, but why are you just stood around there? Who's genuinely just standing there? Just just watching. He just wanted to watch Man City and he got a really cheap ticket to stand in the middle of the pitch and do it. 
You're West, supposed to be contributing to the team. West Ham were trying to carve out this nice play from fullback to winger to midfielder. And then once it got to the midfielder, in the way. Yeah, exactly. What are you doing? And then he gets dispossessed. Yeah. And, Easily. Uh, the inevitable happens. Get punished. You know what else is inevitable? Well, when someone gets gives an own goal. I'm still my life. Just Go say on, yes. Yeah, yes. You know what else is inevitable? Yes, I do. When you give the goal, you get the fault. <laughs> yeah. If you score an own goal, you don't need us. You already know who's to play for that. This was really tricky feet from Bowen, though. It must take considerable skill to be able to move your feet like, wow, and then kick it against one of the best centre-backs in the world and then, then kick it in the goal for you. Oh, he scored an own goal. Just a really fast cross straight off the shin. Come on, endorsed. Exactly. Good finish, though. From Great Ruben finish. Diaz. Oh, yeah, 100%. Not straight the right under team. the keeper. At this goal, there's no stopping it. Sean, what's he doing? What's he doing? Emerson, unlucky man. It's harsh, but you slipped. If you don't slip, you might have had a chance of going in the goal with the ball, but we wouldn't have blamed you for it because the guy hit it like 120 oh, mile an hour. It's gone through through everyone, this shot. So, Haaland with the big boot. Just late. Yeah. And I need to see the miles per hour on this. Yeah, this is yeah. a Rocket League goal. Just turn it up and rip the net off. Those South American holding midfielders are doing real well for West Ham. No, they're not, are they? Paqueta first. And now Guido Rodriguez. What's he doing? He's got a good first name. Mm -hmm. What's he done, though? Yeah, tell me. He's just too slow and he's never catching Harland. Harland up. Yeah. <laughs> Fabianski in goal. Yeah. Nearly got to Fodringham. Mm -hmm. One more, one more player. Yeah. Fabianski gets injured. Fabianski is lucky that I changed the rules a bit because mm -hmm. he's 18 yards out of the box. Yeah. And Harland is Harland. Yeah. That's just stupid, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Dude could find the target from space. All right, Newcastle Spurs. This one's normally a goal fest, but uh, not so much this one. Only 2 1. Yep. Should have been a couple of red cards, though, watching this one. Yeah. Couple of red cards. Yeah. There was a second yellow that almost that was supposed to be guaranteed, but we don't do that here at 48 hours. Uh, first one up, Basuma. What are you doing? We don't. He's just marking air. He's just, he's doing, what was it? It was marking. Belgard. Yeah. So he's summoning Belgard. He, they've had a little team up. Yeah. He just decides to mark Romero instead of Barnes. Like, your man is Barnes. What are you doing? Fairly certain. Basuma and Romero play on the same team. Why would he mark him? What a silly guy. Precisely. They're on the same team. Why are you marking the guy in the same show as you? We do. We don't. Burn. Dad burn. Own goal, get fault. Own goal, get fault. Commandment endorsed. NFL punted it into his own net, by the way. Yeah, no, that was... Pope got the smallest hand to this. This He okay. flapped. Okay, Pete. He flapped. If you watched last season, this would have gone to Pope. Yeah. Because the palm out that he does... Pathetic. Pathetic <laughs> to get it out to... He's a good well to touch it because that stops it going in the goal. That's It's on target until he does flap it because he makes contact. Yeah, but the first save that he just... Scoops out. Oh, to scoops Johnson. up. Pathetic. Yeah. And then Johnson has the wide open goal. Yeah. Somehow doesn't score straight. Johnson away. is also washed. And then Dan Byrne does. But it's because the, the ball is slightly put off the path Dan Byrne thinks it's coming in at. And then he shins it into his own roof of his net. Oh, yeah. By the way, for anyone playing fantasy, Pedro Porro's captain. Yeah. yeah. He had nine shots this game. Nine oh, shots on target. Wow. All from outside the no box. No goals. All directly <laughs> at Nick Pope. Crazy. I was watching the game. I don't lie. I shouldn't have been asked. And remember, if you're liking the content, Drop a like on the video. Yeah, do that. Do that. Subscribe as well because headbands. What headband? I got my hairline put back. <laughs> okay, so Tottenham's answer to Darwin Nunez. He's in. Ragusin, because he looks like him. Indeed. I get it. He plays the initial pass onside. Correct. But then he doesn't get back quick enough for the drag back. And Isak punishes them. Yes. So yeah, he's getting it. Oh, that one, was, that one was killing me. I didn't like that one. I don't want to do this game, Sean. You do it. Okay. Chelsea. Yes. Yeah, Chelsea Palace. Got the new shirt. Chelsea Palace. Shirt. Oh yeah, look at the orange. Why have we got orange on our shirt? Don't know. Let's move on anyway. Who's up for the first? Orange. That doesn't exist anymore. Terry's chocolate orange. Munoz. Yeah, Munoz. What are you doing? He's too slow coming back and gets eaten by the counter attack. Just, yep. Just torn up by it. It was a good swift move. Even the commentators were like, the swift Chelsea move. Enzo to Madueke. Madueke to Palmer. Palmer to Jackson. Jackson to goal. And if Munoz was in position, ball to Jackson gets cut out. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, we punished him. When Jackson's close to defenders, he's offside. So Exactly. Very disappointing, though, because I was going to give this as a no-fault goal, but Caicedo, you are not a trampoline, sir. Ball hits you, bounce straight back. At least try and deflect it in some sort of direction away from, I don't know, Aeze, who is Lionel Messi to Crystal Palace. Stop it. What are you doing? We're done. Get in the way better. And we, sh we should have been 5-1 up at that point anyway, but it's yeah. just that's just Chelsea all over. So we're not going to remain bitter. Just uh, subscribe to the channel and then you can see us 
talk more a lot about Chelsea and how disappointed we are or how happy we are, depending on the mood of Maresca. Maresca's mood. Maresca's moody blues. Moving swiftly on Manchester United versus Liverpool. The absolute tear up of the Manchester midfield midweek. Sean, what happened? Casemiro happened. Yeah, Casemiro just became pure Sunday league. Casemiro passes to Graven Birch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which last time, I, last time I checked, <laughs> they both wear red. Yeah, they do, yeah. he does not play for but, Liverpool. But last time I checked, <laughs> different teams. Yeah, different, stop it. Different players. But after he passes to Graven Birch, he then looks up, looks around, mm -hmm. and realises he's only got Salah, Luis Diaz, and now Graven Birch <laughs> running at him. Yeah. And he just decides... Oh, I'm retired. I'm just gonna let him have it. Just go. I'm not. I'm not getting over there. At this point, he's just. He's just gone. All right, there you go. You can have this. And yeah, Liverpool have the easiest counter chance they'll get all season. Exactly. What have you done against what should have been their hardest, the hardest opponents? And another double in Sean Casemiro. You are not having a good day, my man. As you can all see, uh, he gets robbed by Luis Diaz. This is a, a naughty rob as well. Like he was expecting to get something for this, but looks up, looks round. You're not getting anything, man. I feel like by the time he got off the floor for this one, Salah had the ball already. Yeah, he did, yeah. So there's less, like, the blame for... He just got dispossessed. He got, yeah, he got robbed and then just stayed down hoping for the free kick. He, he, he should have got straight back up. He didn't decide not to defend. No. He well, he decided floor. not to get up. He was on the floor. He was before that. That's a better excuse than <laughs> passing it to them and then going... I was still on the floor. He should be able to get on the floor and straight back up. Burpee style in a second. I don't have to chase it down. Well, speaking of Minu, Sean, who's up for the last goal? He of this won't deal with it. It's Minu. <laughs> yeah, what's he doing? This time, Minu gets waxed by McAllister. Yeah. He yeah, gets shoved. Just, just <laughs> get out Bro, of the way, no, get away, child. This is how stiff arm is done. I look like Lionel Messi. <laughs> Bosh, sent flying. And then, yeah. In the gym, Minu. It's exactly the same goal as the first one, to be honest. Ball is sent across and... Salah smacks this clean. Yeah, he gets pinged over to Salah and he gets his complimentary goal for the game. He always gets against Manchester United because last year, 7-0. This year, 3-0. Man United have got nothing to answer for Liverpool, whether it's Jurgen Klopp, Arnie Slot, it doesn't matter. When red meets red, Manchester United red gets dead. Simple. When red meets red, red wins. And the Red Devils always lose. And what Liverpool? The Reds. I have no idea what Liverpool called. Scousers. Scousers. I could say something right now. You're not going to say that nothing right now. people would hate me for. <laughs> All right, everybody, thank you for watching the video. This is 48 Hours. I'm Carl. I'm sure. What is that head accessory? It helps me see. The other one. Bye.